Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 4, Chapter 4, Lesson 1, Multiples of 10, 100, and 1000. Page number is 197. Guys, before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, in this lesson, guys, very simple lesson. Uh, whenever we multiply with any number having zeros, what we do, just remove the zeros, multiply the basic numbers, and put the zeros back. Like here, in the first example, 5 times 600. So just remove the two zeros, okay, and keep it in your pocket. Now, 5 times 6 is 30. And how many zeros in your pocket? Two. Put it back. So... 3,000. 5 times 6, 30. If you put 1 0, 300, 2 zeros, 3,000. Got it, guys? So what we have to do, just remove the zeros, multiply 5 times 6, 30, and put the two zeros back. So it becomes 30,000. Example 2, uh, 3 times 7, 21. 3 times 7, 21, with 1 0, 2 zeros, 3 zeros with answer, and this is the answer, 21,000. From the beginning, you can do that. Just remove the zeros, 3 times 7, 21, and put the 3 zeros back with the answer. You have to keep it in mind that how many zeros you have removed in the stock, even if you have here. So you have to count that one also. For example, if you have 0 here, like 30 times 7,000. So you will remove 4 zeros, 1 with 0, 30, here, 3 times 7, 21, and then you'll put 4 zeros. Okay. Uh, 8 times 4,000, remove the zeros. 8 times 4 is 32, and 3 zeros, so we put 3 zeros here. One by one, they're putting the zeros. Okay, guys. Here, like we remove 3 zeros, and then we put the 3 zeros back. Okay, this one. 6 times 8 is 48, 1 0, 1 0 with answer, 2 zeros, 2 zeros, 3 zeros, 3 zeros. 7 times 9, 63, 1 0 with the answer, 2 zeros, so 2 zeros, 3 zeros, so 3 zeros. Okay, 8 times 600, so remove the two zeros, 8 times 6 is 48, and put the two zeros back. 9 times 9, 81, and 3 zeros. Next page, independent practice, solve it all, and then match your answers from this video. Very simple lesson, just remove the zeros, multiply, and put the zeros back. Like 3 times 4, 12, and 1 zero, so 1 zero with the answer. Similarly here, guys, just remove the zeros, multiply, and put the zeros back. And then match your answers from this video. How many times greater is the product 4 times 300 than the product 4 times 30? So, 1, 0 extra. So, it means 10 times greater. Got it? If 4 times 3 is 12, so this will be 1200. Okay? Yeah. 1200. And this one will be... 120. So 120 times 10 is equal to 1200. So 10 times greater. Next page. Each ticket for a theme park is $30. What is the total cost for a family with 5 people? 5 times 30, 5 times 3, 15, and 1, 0. So 150. The cost for each person to eat for one week is $100. Find the total cost for the family of five. So 100 times five, $500. Suppose five friends each go on 70 rides. How many rides will they go on all together? Five times seven, 35 and one zero. Okay, use mental math to order these products from least to greatest. So simple, we'll see which one have the least number of zeros, 5 times 50. So the least one is 5 times 50, then 5 times 500, then 5 times 5,000. Uh, write two multiplication expressions that have a product of 20,000. 
So 4,000 times 5 is 20,000. 10,000 times 2 is 20,000. Does the product of a multiple of 10 always have a 0 in the 1's place? Of course. Always have a 0 in the 1's place because you will remove the 0 and then you will put it at the 1's place. When a multiple of 10 is multiplied by another whole number, the product is also a multiple of 10. Thank you so much guys. I hope you understand. If you really understand the lesson, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.